Hello and welcome. My name's Simon, aka Ascent41. Uh, this is my first video that I'm uh, making for YouTube, and it's quite an eye opener to be honest. Um, I didn't think it'd be this difficult. You just take it for granted. Well, I took it for granted. Watched all the videos on YouTube that it'd be easy, but excuse me, it's not. So I'm gonna wear this silly hat and we'll uh, we'll plod away and uh, we'll start the learning curve. Um, so what I'd like my channel to be about is um, videos on hammocking, um, hiking, um, my my fish tanks that keep fish, um, a bit of photography, and also I'm sure my dogs will get a look in as well. But also talk about the kit that I use um, and what I've found that works and what doesn't work. Um, but it's it's quite personal in that respect because it might work for me, it may not work for you. Um, so just bear that in mind. Um, but today I would like to talk about hammocking and in particular the hammock suspension. Now I currently own the DD modular hammock and it's fantastic. Um, used it for a while now and it's it's brilliant. You don't need so much of a diagonal lay in it. Um, I use my sim mat and lie on top of my sim mat and I can pretty much lie flat and you know happy days. Um, with the the hammock, they it comes with two carabiners, um, and I've chose to ditch the carabiners. There's nothing wrong with them, you know. They're perfectly fine and work excellent. But um, I started using toggles and utilising the Marlin spike hitch. Um, I mean, as you can see, compared to a carabiner, this weighs nothing. Although the carabiners that come with the hammock are dead light. These are lighter. Um, with the so what it is is a bit of um, two and a half inch aluminium tubing, a hole drilled through it, through through it, with a bit of cordage, so it's a bit user friendly. And if I drop it on the floor, I can see where it is. So I've got two of these, obviously one each end of the hammock. Um, so, for example, you got your tree huggers. These come with the DD hammock, and I think these are about six foot long so you'll need wrap it around your tree and this end goes to your hammock for example just imagine um, so you need to tie your marlin spike hitch so make a loop through the loop grab the spare end okay grab your toggle in the loop and pull it tight tied it up a bit and that there is your marlin spike hitch okay with your toggle now I'm quite confident that I could tie that with gloves on in the cold weather you know that's not going to be a problem I mean it would be easier to snap a crab on but I, this just works for me take it or leave it you know um, one important, very important thing to remember is when you're hanging your hammock onto your um, hitch, you want the whoopee sling or whatever you're using on the DD, it's a whoopee sling, um, is on the knot. You don't want the weight on the on the toggle. Now I've used these quite a few times now, and I weigh 17 stone, and I've not meant I've not manage to buckle or distort these in any way shape or form um, and I roll over in the sleep in, in my sleep quite a lot so you know there's a lot of movement and force on this so say for example this is your whoopee sling it will go over the knot it's probably not doesn't show you very well but there you go it's on the knot and to use the word again not on the aluminium tubing and that that will hold steadfast not a problem and then when you come to strip it out under your, your, your tree hugger from the tree and you can leave that in there roll it up but I tend to take them out because the last thing I want is that poking through my hammock um, and causing damage to it even though I fold the, the ends off 
from where I've cut it. Um, pull your toggle out and your knot disappears, your hitch disappears. And that, that's you then, good to go. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's, that's the way I roll. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. It's very nerve wracking. I didn't, didn't realise it was going to be so nerve wracking recording myself. Um, but there you go. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Please rate, share, comment, and um, I'll try and make some more for you in the near future. Thank you.